ありがとうございます。Got some、uh, LED strip things. Put it on the back of the TV. I'm probably gonna put these things everywhere just to try and make this house look,、uh... yeah, that's right, Ditchy. Elegant. That's right, that's the word I was looking for. Let's see how this looks. All right, there she Ditchy. Here it is with the lights off. Ta da! Actually, it doesn't look that great on camera at all, but it's actually really dope. It's so cool! I like it! Maybe if I turn on the TV, where's my remote? This thing turns on when people come over. It's the entertain the people that are here box. Oh, I love it so much! <laughs> Do y'all see this? I just stepped out really quick to get myself a little Red Bull from the vending machine. I have a butt ton of cleaning to do. My friends are coming over later and I have way more than I thought I had to clean. So I need energy. Like, I know that they're not good for you, and yet here I am every single time. I have an overwhelming task. Really excited to get out of the house. I was looking for any excuse to go on a walk, anyways. It has been raining nonstop. One of the questions I get asked the most is when's the best time to come to Japan? Well, I know when it's not, and that is June. June is the start of summer. Which no one gets to see because it's also rainy season. Like, I don't know if you guys can even hear this, like, all the canals are filled right now. It was raining all morning. It's afternoon now. Right now is the first break we got, and then the rain's gonna pick up again tonight. <laughs> so, yeah, June, absolutely do not recommend coming to Japan. Also, September is rainy season. Don't recommend. I spend more time at the vending machine than any other place. I think my treatment is starting to wear off because I've been sick so much this week, so that might mean an early trip back to America that I had not planned. I've either been stuck in the house sick or stuck in the house because it's raining. Either way, a lot of downtime, a lot of TV. And it looks like I owe you guys yet again for another amazing recommendation. Thank you. I don't know if it's thanks to y'all or because of y'all. I've been watching so, so much, much anime. My recent favorite is The Skeleton Knight in Another World. I'm actually Finished. Ugh, actually finished that last night. I need a new one. Japan, Japan! Land of the amazing anime, right? And I can't watch it here. Insane. No, I'm sure there's like some kind of legal copyright reason for that. But yeah, there's so much anime that I actually cannot watch here. Like the website Crunchyroll, I can't even get on there in Japan. But now that I have NordVPN, I can. So many of y'all recommended NordVPN. I have been watching everything. I am almost out of shows. So, the other NordVPN fam out there, let me know what websites y'all are using and what are you guys watching? Because I'm just about out. Also, I would like to thank NordVPN for being the sponsor of. Today's video. I am so grateful and so excited. I don't know why I was so scared to sign up. I thought it was gonna be super duper complicated. It was so easy. I'm actually embarrassed. I can't believe I suffered for so long. I got it so I can watch all my anime here in Japan, but also, you guys know I travel a lot and when I'm on the go, it's nice to know that I can access my shows. But also, the security. It allows you to browse the web through an encrypted network tunnel. So things like your location and your IP address are kept private. It is so easy to use. Just one click and you're 
interconnected. You can just pick one of the 59 different countries that they have to choose from and you're there. Two of my close friends recently got their pages hacked. I was like, I better hurry up and sit down and figure out this whole VPN thing. And then you got Netflix and all their drama. NordVPN, Nord VPN. drama solved. Jinkies. You're protected from malware, hackers, ads. You're protected when you're using public Wi-Fi networks. And I found it really cool. They have this dark web monitor that will tell you if any of your information has been leaked. And I was able to find eight. Bruh. Of course, it was a bunch of sketchy sites like Shein. Went in immediately and changed my password. Not only does it help mask your geographical location for the streaming services, but also oh, protects your private information on the web. Not to mention, NordVPN is the fastest, fastest virtual, virtual network, network service. service. If having the ability to watch anything anywhere isn't your cup of tea, get it for the safety. The world is crazy. It's better you say, I'm glad I did, rather than I wish I had. And you can try it out risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no reason not to sign up. If you if you guys are interested, head down to the link down below in the description box and sign up. And when you do, let me know what shows I should be watching. Thank you again, NordVPN, for sponsoring today's video. But yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys have been watching. Leave a comment down below. And also, let me know if you guys want more anime recommendations. I'll try and leave some in like the next video or so, because there's a lot of stuff I've been watching. I'm just getting the living room all set up because the girls are coming over tonight and we're having movie night. I know they're gonna be excited because there was so much stuff that we wanted to watch, but we couldn't. They were telling me to get NordVPN and I was like, I don't got time too complicated it wasn't so yeah we're gonna have a little movie night and i need to finish cleaning realistically i just need to dump kitty's litter box because it stank smelly cat smelly cat what are they feeding you everybody I need to uh, make the futon in the guest room. So far, anytime anyone's ever came over, I'm just like, okay, here's your stuff. You can make your bed when you want. And then they end up sleeping on the couch. So this time I'm gonna actually make their beds. Maybe they'll get in them. Also, I'm gonna attempt to set up this futon situation and I've already failed. I put the duvet cover on the futon instead of the duvet. I was wondering what them strings was. I was like, why is there strings in here? The amount of futons I have slept in is ridiculous, but they're always made. So yeah, I've done this wrong and we're not redoing it, okay? I'm just gonna try to figure out a way to make this look okay. As okay as a piece of fabric on the floor can look. Light here? You're not loud in here. You know she got allergies, girl. Yo, if you don't have a Filipino friend, get you a Filipino friend. Close the windows because the shadow, I can't even see what's going on in here. Is my name missing an S? Who's Unday? Can you come hold one side? Oh, it's massive. It looks pretty cool, but I don't know where this hot pink bag came from. Y'all can't see this on the camera. That bag is straight Barbie hot pink. I think Ducci likes it. And for some odd reason, the bed frame is blue. Where did this blue bed frame come from? Gigi was supposed to be sleepy. Kind of looks like he took a bump of cocaine. She looks a little bit more worried about the money than I thought. She got bags and junk. Is that supposed to be blush? It's dope. 
It's interesting. A little bit regret the white now. It looks extreme, like it's true white. That will be dirty in 2.5. You just saw Doji, she sat right on it. Let me know what y'all think. I think I'm gonna put it in the bedroom where it's supposed to go so I can see how it looks. So the plan was for it to go in front of this mirror. It I might be way too big. Okay. So it's supposed to go this way. All right, it's too big this way. How about in front of the bed? Like over here. Oh! Just barely fits. This way. Okay, I love it, but I do not love the direction. Or I could put it in the front. I'm just gonna be moving this around all day. That's what we're gonna do. What do you think, Dookie, here? No. Is it better? No. Okay, actually, that is dope. But I kind of feel like it should be the other way. Let's try the other way, Dookie. All right, I'm not completely sure. I'm the type that has to sleep on it. Also, it would work better in the office since there's black in this and there is no black in this room. The colors in this room are meant to be very soft and light and warm. It does add a little pop. I like it, but I don't know. It might be better in the office. Also, I did want to buy another rug from them, so I might just do that. I want a Naruto one as well. I think I might put the Naruto one in here. Good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to give you guys a really quick garden update before the weather got crazy again. I saw these clouds rolling in and I was like, ooh. Um, also, a house update, because there seems to be a lot of confusion. Let me go inside. I don't want to get eaten by mosquitoes. <sighs> okay, so I noticed some confusion down below in the comment section. This house that I'm living in now, in Kamakura, I am renting. I did buy a house, but that is in Kyoto. And if you watched the series, you would have saw I bought a house for an investment property, so it's not for me to live in. It's for me to rent out. I bought a fixer upper. It needs a lot of renovations. I'm actually really excited. I just got off of the phone yesterday. Finally, finally picked someone to help me with renovations. So we're getting that all in the works, I think. I think we're actually gonna start renovating the property this month, so I'm very excited. But yeah, I'm renting a house in Kamakura near Tokyo, Kawasaki, Yokohama. That's where I work, so I can't live in Kyoto as much as I would like to, but I'm gonna visit as much as possible. I know, like YouTube, the, the videos just be, and it's so easy to miss stuff. And if you're like just tuning in, you might be like super duper confused. So yeah, I just wanted to clarify that. I did buy a house, thank you, but it's not this one. Y'all got a lot of faith in me or you just don't really understand where I live, maybe, that's totally fine. <laughs> I don't know why y'all thought I could afford a six bedroom house in Kamakura. I don't know what, who y'all thought I was. I don't know what y'all thought this was, but this ain't that. I would literally need to be a millionaire to afford to buy this house. Rent, sure. Buy? Y'all, I ain't that rich. We still eating cup of noodles over here. We still saving pennies. We don't, mm, we ain't there yet. So that is the house update. Yes, renting. That's why I need renter friendly options for this house because it's not mine. Garden update. I'm so excited to see all y'all tagging me in your garden videos and your garden posts on Instagram. It's been a lot of fun. We we have family over here, okay? That's been the highlight of my week. Please keep tagging me in your garden journey. It's a lot of fun. I'm actually at the end of one of the gardening seasons and starting the next one. So I'm like here. So I actually don't have much stuff out here at all. Everything I do have kind of needs to be ripped up. I'm actually in between gardening seasons right now, preparing for the summer crops. This is my least favorite time to garden. I absolutely hate it because it's hot and that attracts so many bugs. Japan is very, very humid and it's just, bruh, it's a bug's life out here. No matter what I do, they win it. And of course, I'm doing like organic farming, so I can't spray them mugs with all kind of stuff because that would defeat the whole purpose, right? So they just out here winning. Um, if you are looking for something that you can spray on your plants that's organic and safe, I would go with neem oil and uh, a little bit of dish soap, but it's a specific kind of dish soap. I'm sorry, I forgot the brand, I forgot the name. Just like type in organic dish soap. It's like a specific one. A little bit of that, some neem oil, water, and a spray bottle. Mm, good to go. But there's a lot of them that it just, it don't be working sometimes. Kind of a mess out here because there's been a storm like literally every other day it's been raining non-stop so everything kind of jacked up and again i'm in the middle of gardening season so it's like you know most of the stuff needs to go like it's very tired kale 
The greenhouse I actually took the lid off the lid the cover I took the cover off y'all um again it is bug season and they was in here having a sauna they was having a blast I don't know what these are I'm praying that they can help I've tried everything in here y'all but I got all kind of little gnats and they're driving me crazy so right now the two problems I have are gnats and these gigantic green caterpillars and then also downstairs the problem I have is slugs Ugh, just a little bit of every problem squash rocket beets curly kale a whole bunch more seedlings a plane my beautiful dino kale which needs to go now and you know when it's time for your plants to go because the bugs will start eating it alive they can sense dying plants that are like weak of specific nutrients so the cat oh look i found one oh i hate these things so much the caterpillar has been eating it alive it's basically tomato eggplant and squash season that's a tomato plant i have a bunch of different types of cherry tomatoes one as well it's just like a whole herb thing lots of mint and basil parsley flat parsley curly parsley cilantro thyme rosemary we got everything lettuce that i never eat i don't know why i keep planting lettuce i just i just can never get around to it probably the most excited about this plant right here which is looking a little tired because it's it hasn't got any water today, but I know it's raining later, so I haven't watered it. Purple green bean. Look at that. Beautiful purple green beans. Oh, they're starting already. I can't wait. Because green beans are one of the things I eat a lot. Kitty's cat grass. All to herself. She don't have to share with no rats. That's right, Ducci. You eat your cat grass. This is my last beet. I planted a butt ton more, but this is the last one of this season. I didn't know I loved these so much. I planted this kind of as an experiment to see if I would like it, and I loved it. Oh my gosh. Especially juicing these things. I'm obsessed. But right now, that's the last one I got. This is my view from the living room especially when i'm working these are my beefsteak tomatoes i've been eating these already everyone asked me how did i get them this early um, i did an experiment i was growing this one since my old house and i grew it in the house with grow lights and a heating mat and it worked perfectly this this is probably the best tomato plant i've ever had in my life why are there so many dang airplanes do i need to go there's something going on so i actually have a couple of these there's three right here there's some in the corner there's like five downstairs i got a lot of beefsteak tomato plants as you guys might have seen the seedlings i just love it when they're ready they're turned red i just pick some and a lot of the plants i plant like a sacrifice <laughs> crop like basil or marigold or something like that for the bugs spinach different type of cherry tomato this one's a little bit bigger look at that they are coming in i just love growing like something very filling like eggplants and zucchini because this is like this is a meal y'all and i'm growing four different variations of eggplants this season and onions peppers more green onions that did not make it out of that storm that storm jacked these up more eggplant more peppers wait i should check are these started yet this one's japanese though the japanese peppers are freaking oh you can see one coming in tiny just disrespectful more cherry tomatoes i think this is red bell pepper we have a butt ton of beans like a lot of crops are like vining crops and they go up like this and they need a trellis they need space but a lot of times you can find like bush variations of the vining things like beans uh there is a bush bean so this one right here oh, this is a bush bean variation Gucci and it's a lot easier if you don't have a lot of space um and then i got the binding type over there as well maybe three types three different types these should be starting really soon do it oh i don't know if you can see this you see they're starting yay oh that's lavender we got some more beets a little mini spider you're gonna be killed in five seconds a different cherry tomato plant two more beefsteak tomato plants some more dying kale that needs to go so yeah that is literally everything up here on the balcony right now i have some more stuff in the greenhouse inside i have some stuff downstairs but it's safe to say there's not much space gg it's one walk away okay. yeah it's just one can i get through can you move your foot ah. oh, do you see her trying to fight me you're trying to fight So that is the in-between season garden update. I'll try and do another one once the season really gets started and everything's like organized and settled and stuff. Just went to the store actually and got some new planters. Planter box, planter. These little eco things are my absolute favorite. You can plant these right in the ground, by the way, because they'll just like decompose into the soil. But yeah, I'm still like planning and organizing and moving stuff around. But once I do, I'll give you guys another update.